another video of Activerse Universe. And today, yes, sir. we got a banger, uh -huh. a banger, uh -huh. a banger, banger, banger. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Alright guys, today we're picking up Kellen the Great. We're gonna be doing his hair, uh, his dreadlocks, and I'm gonna be interviewing him actually for a Pineapple World, uh, his journey, how it is, how he's been, and he's a high school just freshman, and so we're just gonna interview him and see how his dreadlock journey has been. How he got dreadlocks with straight hair. His hair type might be in uh, three or, yeah, threes I think, maybe two C. So we'll see uh, what he says about his dreadlocks. So yeah, stay tuned. Right there, Kellen the Great, bruh. Say what's up. What's up? So I wanted to ask you a few questions before we start heading out. So what you been up to, man? Nothing. Just chilling? Yeah. What'd you do today? Nothing. Um, I went to open gym at my high school. Oh, like uh, basketball or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you play basketball and football? Yeah. All right, you can introduce yourself first. So my name is Kellen. You two now. Name is Kellen the Great. I started my dreadlock journey. Um, I think it was the beginning of 2021, before school. And at that time, I was doing online school, so um, I was at home. So we started school late. And then I cut my hair. I had cut my hair. It was a big thing too. Mm -hmm. Cut my long hair. Jeez. Then one day I was just like, I want to get dreads. I was like, Pops, can you give me dreads? He was like, Are you sure? And I like knowing what dreads are, like can't you just take them out any day? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure. And I got them. So I think it's been like 10 months, 11 months. So. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Right, um. Why did you grow your hair first of all, and then why did you decide to cut? Full video will be linked in the description on Pineapple World. That's the new channel that I launched recently. So make sure you guys go and check that out. The full interview is amazing. I usually get called a girl. So that's one reason I wanted to come along here. New friends. Oh, okay. like, oh, I thought you were a girl when I first started this stuff. All right, coming back to what we were doing, uh, we actually gonna be sectioning it out. Uh, not as much as it needs to be, really. It's just putting it in a ponytail and grabbing the ponytail down as we go around the hair. Alright, so now you want to bag it up in a plastic bag or if you guys have a foil, I, I prefer a foil, I just couldn't find any foil in the house. And then you let it sit for about 30 minutes. You don't want to go over 30 minutes because then you're going to end up bleaching and really messing up your dreadlocks. So guys, don't go over the time limit that you should be going at, which you should be aiming for 30 minute maximum. Like that's it. And if you need to do a second bleach, then go ahead and do that because that's what we ended up doing. Alright man, your hair is ready right now and I'm feeling it. Get your ears and everything too. Like on you. Get the whole ear. Oh. Shampoo more? Yeah, I'll, I'll put some on your hand. You distribute it inside your um, your locks. Really help it out. Like out here and everything. Back hurts. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially the tip ones since you had a uh, pre bleached. Oh, that's weird. That's cool. <laughs> Every time like, I bleach my hair, like, you see how some of them are dark? Mm -hmm. That's how they are. Like, all of them are dark. It's cool to see my hair light. And we're not even done yet, bro. This is step one. This is step one. Yeah, let's start, go. We wanted to mix this two right here. 
to see what that color would look like. That's the purple rage. And then we got the lavender. This looks like a really sweet purple color. Yeah. It's black. Yeah, it looks weird, like I said, on here because of how much concentration they have put on it. But once you mix it, the color starts to come out. Are you getting it right here? Yeah. The color starts to come out once you start uh, to spread it. We got the Adore Purple Rage and also a lavender color. Uh, the reason we got two different colors is just in case one of them don't work, uh, we want to be able to use the other one. Uh, or even mix and match and I always do this when I get like a new color unless I'm certain that I'm getting just a uh, What I know or what I've seen online if I'm not certain I would get two different colors and this is what he got himself uh, And he brought and he said that he wanted to get it done like this He wants a different shade and that's why he has two different shade two different like I don't know what the number is uh, represents but one is a 90 and one is a hundred and thirty I believe uh, so the hundred and thirty is way darker than the ninety so basically we had to re-bleach his hair also uh, because I didn't, want, I didn't want it to be a dark purple. I wanted it to be a very light purple as, one, as much as he wanted uh, to be light and a different shade. He has shown me a pictures of uh, what he's expecting it to look like. And so I was like, okay, I like the, you know, the bottom pieces uh, of his dreadlocks right now. The tips of his dreadlocks look like they're really uh, bleached but the rest of it doesn't look as good. It just looks like a really nice uh, blonde uh, or dark blonde, dirty blonde. So I was just like, okay, we're gonna do it one more time. Guys, okay, so when you start uh, testing out, you wanna use the darkest of hair because if you can do great with the darkest one, with the light one, it will be much greater. So I'm gonna use this dark one right here. And I'm using the ones we mixed together. And I picked one also towards the back because just in case, let's say he didn't end up liking it, but wouldn't be in front of his face every day. So he wouldn't, you know, despise his dreadlocks. Now we're gonna let it dry. The second try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a, another one right next to it so that we can see the difference. You don't wanna pick one right here and one the other side because you can't see the difference right next to each other. Or you can't see the difference uh, if it's across from each other. So you gotta put it right next to each other. Now we're going to time both of them for 15 minutes. Alright guys, we just got two of them done. This is what they look like. They kind of look similar. One of them is just being light. The one we did not mix came out like this, which is the second one. The one we mix looks like this. Uh, although he wants some of them to be um, very dark purple, he wants some of them to be looking like a, a light pink, like very, very super light pink. And so uh, I came up with the idea of mixing it with the red, just a little bit of red with the purple, I believe would give us that color that he's looking for. And so if it ends up him liking this, then we might even end up mixing most of them like that so that it doesn't become a harsh purple. That's why I always say like whenever you guys get like some kind of purple or any color, what you see in the front of the bottle is not really what it comes in. See the front ones, remember how you were talking about this color? Yeah. See how it came up? This is nice. And what happens is it's going to get keep, continue to get lighter as you continue to wash it. So cool. if you want it lighter, all you have to do is wash it one more time. Yes, sir. It took the whole day. <laughs> Literally. But that's it, guys, for the video. 
I'm super tired. My lips still kind of busted. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Here's a highlight before y'all go anywhere else. I'm out. Peace. This is the aftermath. We ate food. We <laughs> bleached his hair. We washed his hair. You like the food too you ate? That food was good. We should have vlogged it. It was a uh, Chino Bandino. Some leftover. If y'all want some, just hit me up. I got y'all.